I brought you a beaver hat in its original case. We think, we being my sister and I, who've retired together to our family home on Cape Cod, we think this may have belonged to the man who built our house, our great-great-grandfather, Captain Lewis Perry. And when, when was the house built? 1832. Mm -hmm. Well, this is called a tall hat, not a, a top hat or anything. Hats like this, uh, with their hat box, uh, are not often seen. Um, what you've brought to me today is from the 1830s. We have a hat box with a label that is going to identify it as being from a gentleman in New Bedford who is a French paper importer. And indeed, this is French paper. Uh, the French were known for um, hand-blocked, hand-stenciled wallpaper. And the paper is French. It's not clear to me whether the box itself would have been made in France or not. I wanted to point out one other thing that is unusual about this hat, which helps me to date it a little bit earlier. In the inside, as we see, it's paper. This is leather here, and in later hats, it is all leather lined or silk lined as well. You have said that this is a, a beaver hat. Um, it is exceedingly rare to see a blonde beaver pelt hat. It has this wonderful long, long nap, um, really luxurious. In fact, we had to keep putting it to our faces to see if it was silk, which didn't seem possible. I'm not sure it's beaver. It may be a very, very fine wool um, that is just really? the softest thing ever known. You know, there are areas, however, of moth damage, as happens here and here along the rim, and also at the top. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about how you've been keeping these for so long in your family? Tell me about how you've maintained them. There's been no special maintenance. <laughs> Unfortunately, that hat has been worn by me when I was eight and nine and 10, oh. and by generations of children, not really well preserved at all. It's right. lived in this hat box, sitting on the floor in the room oh. called by my children the old room. My oh. boys were not allowed to run or jump or, or wrestle in that room. Well, you know, it's funny. Sometimes just letting things sit in the dark can be good for it. It hasn't light. been in the light. Indeed. And this hat has been inside the case, right. which means it's too been protected. Right. So hats with boxes that fit are quite collectible right now. I don't see a lot of gentlemen's clothing or, or hats or accessories. Um, at auction together, I would expect this to be in the range of $2,500 to $3,500. Really? Indeed. 